Hey guys, it's I think like vlogmas day four now. Um, yeah, I thought I'd I'm I'm wearing the same thing as you will see in my last video, so sorry about that. Um, because I've just got two t-shirts that I wear religiously. I was I was um I was going for a walk yesterday afternoon and I was thinking about man because I wanted to do vlogmas. Um, there's a lot of filming that needs to be done. Uh, so I was like, oh, well, I guess I have to pick up the camera and actually um, film, in a, film in a bit more relaxed environment. Because normally when I film, I normally um, set it up and then I've got all my plants around me. I've got a, um, I've got the camera up on a proper stand, but now I'm just kind of, kind of holding it. And I guess I, this would, this has to be the way that I film my vlogmas. Otherwise, I don't know how I was going to keep creating all this all this um all these videos but i thought i wanted to um show you my uh i guess incubator um this is where i keep all my uh my more precious plants um this is what it looks like here you would have seen it a lot more in my um instagram i think not not my instagram i think i would have shown this ikea uh greenhouse in my other videos but this is really where I keep some of my more delicate babies I'm gonna do uh, I was going to do a check on them to see how they're going um, so I thought I'd just show you what I do so what I have in here is I've got my Lucida uh, this color he still looks a bit moist doesn't he um, he's got an extra leaf since the last time I saw him which was quite which is quite exciting. Um, I think he still looks a bit, yeah, it's still a bit wet in here, so I'm sure he's got a little bit more moisture. So I might not open, um, might not open his plastic bag yet. But this one, this guy, is my philodendron gloriosum, and I think because because he's ah uh, yes. Because his like, the bag was opened a little bit to give some space. Ooh, he's so velvety. It's a velvety leaf. His sphagnum is getting a bit dry, so I've gotta got water it. Yeah. So this one's due out for a watering from there. Um guys, this is also very exciting. Here are some Vitarifolium seeds in here. I think it's quite moist in there because they look they look like they're doing quite fine. So it's not a very good. You see some condensation out there. Um, so they're looking quite okay. I think I might leave you. Oh, I bet you this one's dry. This is my uh, yeah bit dry in here so I'm gonna water this one up and you can tell I think this is a sign guys when your leaves are midway unfurling and they just stop and freeze and they get a bit wrinkly that's a sign that you haven't given enough water so this one is due for some water in here um, oh this one looks like he's doing all right a lot of condensation here and it's quite warm oh guys I don't know if you've seen this but um, I don't know if I've spoken about it actually but this is a heat mat that I got for, it's just a heat mat that you can use for, well, it's meant for uh, for reptiles, but I put them in here because over winter, I was really worried about my plant not being warm enough, particularly a lot of these plants in here are tropical. So I can feel that this, this, um, this bag bag um, is quite warm, which is quite good um, because here you have a little uh, green velvet an alocasia green velvet that's growing in is growing plenty of condensation there so i think you'll be fine and then the last guy i've been here it's very exciting guys this is my oh what a beauty this is my monstera strand uh strandlana by variegata look at that variegation guys it makes me so excited he's plenty moist in here so i don't need to we don't need to top him up with water. Let's just give it a... Oh, actually, maybe I will. He's not as he's not as wet as I thought he'd be. Um, but maybe I'll just give him a little bit of water. And this one I had him out this morning because I suspected he was going to be quite dry already. So um, he does look very dry. Look at that. That's so dry. This is an Obovata 
uh, Hoya obervata splash that that I got off a plant um, a plant swap so I need to moist them then moist moisten this guy out so these guys are going to be watered and I think I'll change the spag on this one a while back guys I think I also showed you my syngonium uh, chair pants um, he was a cutting before but now he's rooting and look oh guys look at his this new leaf isn't he a beauty what so pretty he's got some new roots coming out which is exciting and he's looking like he's rooting quite well doesn't this remind you of alien versus predator you think of alien i think i've got to i've got to fill this guy up with water though so i will do that but i wanted to show you how well this cutting is doing look at him he's gonna get some i think he's gonna get a new leaf coming out here soon i might put some sea salt in here a tiny bit of sea salt to to help him on his way but i'm gonna fill this one up with water um what else do i have to show you guys oh guys i wanted to show you these pots that i picked up recently um very excited with these i'm getting into pots like artisanal ceramics i really like supporting local artists i think it's very very nice to get a piece of work that's created by someone it's really nice to um, get something that's handmade by some someone because i think you can you know it's, it's that person's dream and passion and so it comes through in their work that's why i recently been getting um a lot of pots or supporting local ceramicists i'll show you guys show you guys what i got so i got this this beautiful planter from uh kayami kayami i think that's the ceramicist there but this is a beautiful pot isn't it like so pretty i think what i'm going to put in there is i recently got a uh syngonium uh wendelanii i've got a syngonium wendelanii so i think i'm going to put it in here it's very exciting guys also um the other one that i got is I got this beautiful planter. Oh, uh, well, it wasn't a planter actually. I think it was a. It was meant to be a cup, and I think it just got a cracked base, which is fine because I think that means I can use it as a planter because the water will run through, which is quite nice. I will again. I'll put the name of the ceramicists in the in this video so you guys can check them out. But look at this beautiful pot. I love the glaze on it got it for ten dollars and it's things like this that i quite like i quite like seeing the imperfections on handmade um on handmade items because i think it just it's 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 a mark of somebody's work and that everything's that you don't have to be perfect to create something beautiful oh actually i thought i think i've got some of the tags here so i've got CY Studio Ceramics and Ken MHR. This is the same. Oh, that's so nice. I I bought a I bought a pot with from this ceramicist CY Studios and she wrote me a note um, previously. Hey Jesse, thank you so much for your purchase. That's so nice. But she this this ceramicist I I noticed she was having a a sale at a, at Kirribilli Markets, and I, I went there to to show my support. And her planters are freaking amazing, guys. Oh, it's freaking um, oh, God, it scared me. I thought I I thought I broke. It's just a pebble, but I thought I, I broke a bit of the pot. But guys, look at this beautiful planter. Look at this leggy planter. Isn't this just so stunning? So pretty. This is from CY Studios. Ceramicist there. And the other one, the one I've got also here, is also from her. She makes these beautiful peachy toned ceramics. It's very nice. This is another one. Sorry. 
And then the last pot that I got, it's also got a succulent in it. Look at this, guys. So pretty. Let me see if I've got the... Oh, I don't have their card in here. But this is from another, another ceramicist. I'll try and remember the 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 names of the ceramicists so um, you guys can check them out if you're interested. But these are all Australian. Let me show you. This. These are all Australian uh, or Sydney-based, I think. Sydney-based ceramicists. These are the pots that I got from them recently. Isn't this, guys? Isn't this a theme? Isn't this an aesthetic? <laughs> an aesthetic, guys. So pretty. I'm very excited to pot them up. I think you've already seen. I think you've already you've already seen this pot from. It's my see. It's my. This is my uh, Wendelani Wendelani eye, which you would have seen in my last video. But I think you've already seen this pot that I showed before from PV PV Potter 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 um, ceramicist in Victoria, but. I am, I went on a pot craze guys. I'm gonna water these plants now, so I might just, I might just take you guys along. Hey guys, that is way too dry. I think I've got to put some more. I get some new sphagnum for her. I don't know if you can see that's way too dry, guys. My bad. She's got like roots coming out. See that, guys? Okay, guys, I want to use this container as a propagation uh, for my uh, Hoya Hobovan. Yeah, <laughs> propagation for my Hoya obovata. Also, this is the spag for moss that I'm going to be using. I might grab a handful. Oh, all right. Grabbed a handful. I'm just going to moisten it up. water the trick is you've got to be damp but not too damp otherwise you encourage mold so I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit and soak up some of the water before I decide whether or not to add a bit more water in all right guys I've got her in there I was like oh no I don't know if she's gonna fit because her bunny ears were too big but the water's moist and so now I'm just gonna put on the lid and pop her back into her greenhouse. One thing I wanted to check with you guys was whether or not you found, would it be interesting for you to, like for me for me to just fill my day-to-day -day life, my day-to-day -day plant life, I guess, and share it with everyone? Because I'm not, I'm, I'm normally quite a shy person and, you know, you know filming myself is not something I, um, is not something I, normally do I don't think anyone normally does it does it but um I just one of my biggest worries is like is this interesting enough I don't know I just don't want to disappoint anyone I want people to be like wow she's boring I mean I think that too sometimes but 
Um, anyway, <laughs> enough rambling. Oh, well, sorry, I guess the point I was trying to say was let me know what you guys like what, if you guys are interested in this sort of stuff because I think for Vlogmas or definitely for the next two weeks I want to be filming um, every single day and uploading every single day. So I just want to make sure that the content is still going to be interesting for everyone. Look at my mom. My mom's like, what are you doing? Did you see her head before? Oh, cool. Anyway, guys, we just potted this guy up. So I'm going to pop him back on the heat mat. Just going to move these guys over a little bit and put him on the heat mat. One thing with propagating, one thing with propagation stations is once, you, once you've propagated something and put it in a plastic bag or a container like this, you don't want to fiddle around with it too much. And what I mean by that is opening the lid often uh, because that would disturb the um, ecosystem or the um, plant's attempt at creating an ecosystem to grow in there. So I suggest if you are propagating, check on your propagation once every week for mold. If there is, then you want to aerate your plastic bag or your container just to let some more air in and then pop it back. Let me see what else I can show, show you guys today for Vlogmas.